360 kilometers of pristine groomed cross-country skiing slopes. Everyone we talk to, they say this is the place to be. This is the cross-country paradise of Norway. Would you agree? Exactly. And apparently, whether you're a professional Olympian pro or a beginner just getting started, there is something here for everyone. I think it's fair to say we did a pretty good job of diving headfirst into the cross-country skiing last year. But this year, we're taking it to the next level, aren't we? We definitely are, because these are skate skis and this season is all about becoming good at skating. So in this video, you're going to see us fall, struggle, and for the whole season, we're going to work on our technique to proper skate. country paradise we're of course talking about is Shushun here in Norway. Which is also luckily enough a sponsor for this episode. Tone from Visit Shushun has provided us with a cabin and it is our favorite place in the winter. First day of the season. Let's go. is a cross-country paradise is that snow comes quite early and it stays the whole season it's minus 25 degrees so it's a it's a bit cold right now and it's actually one of the most snow shore places in norway as well and as we said 360 kilometers of cruise piece a lot of flat terrain like this which is perfect for beginners like us who are looking to learn but it's also where all the pros and the olympians come as well you've got some really steep inclines and some really challenging terrain so there's something for everyone. Oh. <laughs> One part of our Cross country skiing is that you get much heat when you're going out, but when you take a little break, yes, you start freezing. Exactly. But what is impressive with Norwegians is that every age gap is out. Like people who are two years old, and then you've got 80 year olds going out and just smashing it out. And that's why they're very, very healthy and fit in Norway. What you've got to remember is yes, of course, it's a huge competitive sport here, it is Norway's national sport but also it's very much a family fun activity as well. So people go out with a bottle of cocoa and have what's called a Kusa tour yeah. or a kind of cozy tour. So it's not all about just competition. A lot of it is just about going out, enjoying the nature and having a lovely time. Which is like, it's like, the, it's like summer hiking. This is the winter hiking part. Yeah. This country is, cross country skiing is almost like a mix of hiking, running and skiing, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> techniques of skating we have to master the season is paddling, ankle dance and double dance. And they are all about balance, balance, balance. Something which is getting better, but I think I really need to work on. <laughs> when it comes to skating and classics. Obviously skis and techniques. <laughs> As this is the first part of the season, they are slippery and it's a big, big, big difference. Oh, classic skiing. <laughs> I am gonna break a hip or leg. <laughs> Well, you're pushing over 30, mate, so it's to be expected. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, with the classic last season, really got comfortable. Now it's all about being out in the comfort zone again because we're going to do races skating this season. We're going to meet up with pros, we're going to get coaches. So this weekend is all about getting some basics in. And for me right now, it's all about balance. I'm stupid. I know. Do a flip. I think 180 I can do. Ow. 
Did I hit you? Yes. Sorry, mate. <laughs> Charlie, you wanted to try to do the real cross country as well? Yes, because when I think about cross country, I'm talking about proper cross country. I think if we go all the way in that direction, we might make it back to Oslo. Let's find out. <laughs> it's gonna be a long, a long journey back to Oslo. Especially having done classic last year, where there's a lot of double pulling, I'm finding I'm really tempted to just use my arms like this and rely on upper body strength. But skating is actually all about the legs and more of a like ice skating movement, I'm using the power from the legs. So I really need to work on building those habits using my legs and not just relying on the upper body and the arms like this. Skating, anchor dance, and double dance. So, this is really difficult for me because the balance and keeping straight and not losing rhythm is what you see is very, very, very difficult. One of the techniques. I find the hardest is the paddling part. So it's like a fish herringbone, but movement and speed. Like right now I'm using so much energy to get up the hill and I'm not as smooth as I want to be. So I mean, it's climbing up the mountain. For a Danish guy, not used to mountains, it's a bit difficult. want to follow our journey of becoming more Norwegian and becoming better, I think you should subscribe because that makes it possible for us to go on more trips and obviously check out Visit Shushuin. Maybe you see us fall a bit more. So even better, see some more fails like that. <laughs> There's definitely going to be plenty of those. Now we're talking daisies out on cross country skiing as well. <laughs> Let's start them young here. This was the first installment and session of cross country skiing this season. I hope you like to see a bit of the snow content because we're going to do way more of it. What's on the program, Ali? This is going to be my life for the next five months, I think. We've got classic skiing, skating, skiing, every type of cross country skiing, and hopefully you can follow our journey as we improve. And if you fancy getting out there yourself, then uh, please do watch our videos for more tips and tricks. Take a rest. Oh. oh yeah, no, I just, I just thought I'd have a little sit down. Yeah, looks like a good place to take a break. Rest.